Welcome back, GMB Nation. My bad, I gotta put the mic on. Hold on. Damn. Sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that, yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right. Welcome back, GMB Nation. This is your host, GMB Reacts, and today we're doing a reaction to World's Scariest Pranks. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. This is a reaction request from Cool. Uh, I forgot your whole name. On let me see what your name is. I think it's cool824. You got so many digits in your name, got a whole ass area code in your name, my guy. But we about to figure out your name real quick for the peoples in the in, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cool8294. Appreciate you, my boy. Damn, mic drop 1212. Hey, cool8294. I appreciate you for the reaction request on Instagram. If you want to do drop reaction requests, follow me on Instagram. I'm at 222 followers. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much for supporting the team. You know what I'm saying? I just started uh the uh that reaction uh page on Instagram. My other original page, that's like uh my second page. My original page is GMB Creates, which is my original YouTube platform and page where I do and my animations now solely on that channel and page. So if you want to follow me on there, uh, you can check that out. That's again GMB underscore creates. But today's reaction is GMB underscore reacts. That's my Instagram page for for my reaction channel. Uh, and to the day's videos, world's greatest pranks. I'm gonna shut up now. We're gonna get into today's video, man. Like. Cause I'm not editing this. This is literally just raw. And I love this app. If y'all don't know what this app is, it's OBS Studios. Where I have to spend less time having to edit because it literally just does the recording for me. And it records my face. So it's like screen recording the camera of the video and my face, man. It's dope. All right, Um, without further ado, Let's get into the noise as well. Make sure we're recording. We're good to go. I'm going to mic check to one toll. Stop playing with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it. One of the scariest pranks in the world. Consider yourself lucky you're not this person. Or this person. Or you see where I'm going with this. With so many people terrified of elevators, it seems like a pretty obvious place to stage a prank. But this one really did get creative. <laughs> Instead of doing something obvious, like pretending the elevator was stuck, this Japanese show got a little creative. The producer escorts their victim to the elevator, but the second they step inside, this happens. That's definitely something you can never prepare for, and why would look you? And if that wasn't enough of a shock, they then find themselves on an underground slide, covered in some kind of mysterious goo. New fear unlocked anyone? Yes, something like that to you. These tourists in China probably thought that walking on this glass bridge was scary enough on its own. They clearly had no idea what was in store for them. In hindsight, I'm sure you know it's a prank, but I can't even imagine what I'd be thinking if that were happening to me. Take a look at this guy who was just seconds away from losing his iPad. They achieved this amazing illusion by placing real shards of glass and video screens underneath the glass floor and topped it all off with sound effects to make it seem extra real. Funny or cruel? <laughs> I'll leave you to be the judge of that. Picture this. You're sitting in an empty office, just That's waiting around up, for something to happen. Then that. suddenly the entire desk slides open. Do what do you do? Like, like, <laughs> Some people would make a run for the exit as quickly as possible. Once. These people... Shame on you. Fool me twice and put the blame on you. Fool me three signs, the peace sign, roll the chop and let it rain on you. That's J. Cole right there. Y'all don't know nothing about that. People, on the other hand, made the mistake of being curious Dang. enough to stay and look. That's exactly oh, what the pranksters boss. wanted. Before they knew what was happening. <laughs> you know what a girl be like? Don't. Don't come yet. You have to like, stay what? and look. That's exactly <laughs> what, what the pranksters wanted. Before oh, they knew what was happening. Hit him up, though. 
Oh, hit him with the enough to stay and look. That's exactly what the pranksters wanted. Before they knew what was happening, they had a face full of cream. It looks like it got everywhere, too. That guy must have been glad he was wearing glasses, although he doesn't seem very happy about any of it. In the old days, all you needed for a good prank was a telephone, but those were simpler times. If you want to execute a really great prank now, you probably need to look into purchasing an extremely realistic dinosaur costume. Sure, that's going to be pretty expensive, but there's one big benefit to a moving dinosaur. It seems to terrify just about everyone. Even though dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years, there's just something unsettling about a prehistoric beast chasing us down a corridor. I'm sure these people would agree. Maybe cornering yourself on the ground isn't the smartest move either. And then you don't realize it until you see There's the, always more than one legs. way to do something, but the choice usually comes down to what you're really trying to achieve. For example, if you wanted to terrify someone in an elevator, you could just have the whole floor open up and eat them. But that wouldn't sell very many TVs. What LG wanted to do instead was make it look like the floor of the elevator was falling away. You know, to prove how good their TVs are. Ironically, some victims even tried to find a safe tile to stand on, sometimes scrambling to the other end of the elevator. I'm just glad I didn't need to experience this for myself. If you've ever watched yeah, The wild. Ring, then you'll know just how terrifying it is. The movie creators put together the perfect oh, set for a scary, scary prank. Bro. Just when their customers least that's expected like... it, the screen pulled up without them noticing, leaving a gap for the actress to crawl out oh, and scare well, the life no. out of the unsuspecting victims. Bruh, I would... Oh my god. Bro, that's the Honestly, best I think ever. those people handled that quite well. Well, most of them anyway. Bro, look at the black phone. Like, Hell no. Oh, my soul. Imagine you're a technology oh, company. Lady. What's the best way to prove that your TVs yeah, are the highest quality screens on the market? Video, LG's though, headquarters in Chile came up 10. with an That's ingenious joke. Hilarious. They gathered people for a job interview, <laughs> filled the office with hidden cameras, video. and set up one of their TVs so it looked like a window. Job interviews are stressful enough. They're far worse when a meteor suddenly appears. Oh, no. Most of them took it well, except for that one guy. I think I'm on his side, though. Some people really know how to create drama. But the TNT network might have just overshadowed every other drama queen on the face of the earth. In 2013, the company erected a suspiciously large button in Belgium, inviting unsuspecting people to push to add drama. Some people just walk by, but some brave and curious people press the button. Once that happens, all heck breaks loose with staged fights and gunfire breaking out in the town. Bikini babes on motorcycles tore up the street and anarchy erupted. The best part of the video is the reactions of those who set it off. Participants look around stunned as the action unfolds, trying to come to terms with the fact they caused it all to happen. This prank show wanted to see what would happen if they glued people wow. to the floor. Imagine, there you are just minding your own business. One minute you're getting along with your day, the next you're stuck to the ground. But there's more than one way to achieve a sticky floor prank. Plan A is to trap ordinary people on the street as they go about their day. Then there's the more extreme method. Place a tray of sticky Sticky goo behind a closed door and just wait for the next victim. Oh, the highlight's definitely their previous victim I'll sitting on the sofa covered in goo. Like, he didn't even try to warn him. Here's something you I'll almost never think about. Like, Drinking fountains. Yeah. You're sure they're a oh, handy thing to have around, but... They're not exactly going to take up a lot of space in your thoughts. At least not until something like this happens to you. This prank show set up a drinking oh. fountain with a twist to catch unsuspecting people by surprise, and it definitely worked. Go crazy, go I don't know if you've ever had water sprayed up your nose at high pressure, oh, crazy, but it's definitely not pleasant. Yeah, I wouldn't go near that fountain mouth. again, but these people are clearly a little braver than me. Water, Most of them go in for another try. Shit. It doesn't seem worth it, but that you've got to wrong. admire their dedication.
The Indiana Jones films are iconic. They're a part of our culture. But even in iconic films like that, there are moments that stand out and take a life of their own. You probably already know where I'm going with this. This girl got to reenact that iconic moment, whether she wanted to or not. Honestly, it really does look genuinely frightening, especially since that's the last thing you expect when walking down a corridor. At least they were kind enough to give her something soft to land on. And he's like, we are going to die. I need to watch that. If y'all never seen Indiana Jones, watch it. I suggest it. The first one. At least they were kind enough to give her something soft to land on. Bro, the looks on their faces when you pause it be hilarious, bro. Done. Even in a world of clever pranks, some are just a little more intelligent than others. The creators of the Invisible Man movie obviously know how to scare people, but it's quite different to execute that in real life. As part of their press, they decided they were going to give journalists a taste of what it would be like to really encounter the Invisible Man. Let's just say it wasn't the kind of interview they were expecting. Man. Oh my god. I wonder how they did that, because that jump was fine. They rigged the interview room to make it look like someone invisible was making things move. The grand finale was a clever reveal of the invisible man standing up behind the curtain. The people who stayed in the room deserve a medal. So, you're a yogurt company that needs to get yeah, an advertisement know, done. What's the best way to get people to eat yogurt? With a bear, apparently. Giovanni decided they'd recreate their famous bear-centered Super Bowl commercial by setting a bear loose in New York City. All right, not quite. They actually unleashed a man in an animatronic bear suit onto the streets to frighten unsuspecting members of the public. And it worked. <laughs> The bear wreaked a bit of havoc. The only people that seemed more confused than scared were passing children. I guess they just don't understand perfectly good advertising. <laughs> so stupid. I'm over going like, what's goody with a bag of chips and a hoodie? Like, imagine getting paid to do that, bro. I'll go crazy. I'm like, what? Y'all want me to... You? Start throwing all over the... You? You? Throw you across the room. You across the room. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. All right, but that ends today's video. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for tuning in, man. That about does it. That about does it. About does it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any reaction requests, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I do reaction requests every week. Once out the week, every week, I do a reaction request. Just chat, tune in, turn on my post notifications so you can be notified when the next video drops. Again, follow me on Instagram at GMB underscore reacts. Link will be in the description down below. Just read the link in the description. Jesus Christ. Some of y'all do not read. Hey, but um, outside of that, road to 1,000 subscribers as usual. I'll see you guys next time. GMB out. Peace.